Hi there. Remember that a few months ago, I talked about a new groundbreaking application yet to be released from NVIDIA Research Labs called Ganverse 3D and which was capable of rendering 3D models with texture from 2D photos. And not only that, Ganverse 3D was also supposed to be capable of animating the 3D model at the click of a button. Yes, the wait is finished and anyone who is lucky enough to own an RTX graphics car can now try this groundbreaking application of 3D Deep Learning. And all you have to do is to install NVIDIA Omniverse. But let me temper your expectations a little bit. This demo of Ganverse 3D only works with photos of cars and only works with the right type of car. You'll see why I mean later. Also, the 3D models don't look great yet. But don't worry, I'm sure that after a few updates, they will be looking amazing. If you haven't heard of NVIDIA Universe before, you definitely need to know about it. NVIDIA is not just selling hardware anymore. It is now making money from the metaverse. I bet you heard that Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook is trying to create the metaverse too. Well, Facebook is trying to create an alternative reality in the digital world, or shall we call it a cloud cuckoo land? NVIDIA is doing something entirely different. NVIDIA's metaverse is a virtual collaboration world for engineers with applications in the real world. What Omniverse does is to visualize and simulate a virtual world which includes realistic physics and realistic materials using 3D assets, textures, point clouds created in a number of 3D modeling applications. And by the way, Blender is included too. There's so much more to NVIDIA Universe, including the ability of simulating robots in a virtual factory, testing driverless cars in the virtual world, and many, many more. If you want to know more about NVIDIA Universe, then check out my last video on this. You can find a link in the description. But Gunverse 3D is not the only AI app in NVIDIA Universe. There's more. For example, Audio to Face. And what is Audio to Face? Audio to Face is an application inside NVIDIA Universe that allows you to animate any humanoid mesh from a sample of audio. This is similar to Wave to Leap, which I also talked about a few months ago. But in this case, instead of animating 2D photos, you can animate a mesh in 3D. In this video, I'll give you a demo of NVIDIA Universe Create and how you can try Gunther 3D. Without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to download the open beta for NVIDIA Omniverse. You have to answer the questions and then uh, you'll be able to download NVIDIA Omniverse. See you again in the future. It's important to realize that uh, NVIDIA Omniverse is nothing more than the launcher that will allow you to install all the different apps within the NVIDIA Omniverse family of uh, applications. Basically, this is what you'll see and uh, you click in exchange and you search for create and this is the application that you need to install i'll see you again in the future after i install it after you install nvidia on reverse create you can launch it now we are almost at the point where we can try gunverse 3d but before we try Gunverse 3D, I wanted to just show you a couple of things. NVIDIA Omniverse Create comes with different uh, samples that you can try to basically give you an idea of what it can do for you. So I'm going to try uh, the samples here so you have a look and uh, you, you can appreciate its capabilities. So this is a demo of an astronaut. This is the lighting with ray tracing. You can see the level of detail. It's very good. Let me just swap this to real time. We can move very fast and the image is stable. So you have other demos here with the animations as well. So this is a demo of a, a robot. So I'm going to click play. It's quite a fun demo. To try Gunverse 3D, we need to install an extension. So image to car, that's the name of the extension. I've already installed the extension. In your case, if you haven't installed it, you just have to click install and you will have the same as me here. But it's not enough to install the extension. You also need to activate it with this uh, toggle button here. 
and now we are ready to try Gunverse 3D. The first thing we have to do to try Gunverse 3D is to create a plane. So let's go to create, click physics, and let's create a ground plane. And you can see there is a ground plane here, okay? I've already downloaded a couple of images of cars, so I'm going to try and unload them now. The first car I'm going to try is going to be a Porsche. And you can see, it took very little time to create the Porsche. I can switch on the lights, switch on and switch off. You can also drive the car, which is quite cool. You just have to use the keyboard, select the car and use the keyboard and you can drive the car. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But this is not all, there's more to this. I'm going to create another car. And this time it's going to be an SUV, a Mercedes SUV. And you'll notice one of the main limitations of Gunverse 3D. So let's see what happens. So now we have another car, but hang on. See this car here doesn't look anything like an SUV. So you see, this is the Porsche and this is the Mercedes SUV. This is a classic example of overfitting because our model in this case has been trained with sedan cars. So everything that you give it, uh, be it like an SUV or even a, maybe a truck, it will give you back a sedan car. So that's the, the main limitation. Okay, let's add one more car. I mean, let's add the Knight Rider, right? Which we saw in the demo from uh, Nvidia and it looked very cool. Okay, so we have here the Knight Rider. So all these cars look very similar. The Porsche and the Knight Rider look very similar. But the SUV doesn't look like an SUV. So we have this uh, classic example of uh, overfitting. Okay, all these cars can be driven. You can see I can drive the car. It doesn't even know, it doesn't fall for whatever reason. We can do something much more interesting. I'm going to switch to another scene, which is more like a game scene. We have the three guys here. You can definitely see that this is work in progress. My car is floating, but anyway, it's fun to defy the law of physics. What you're seeing here is the result of research from at least three different research papers from NVIDIA. And let's not forget all the research papers before that, because NVIDIA didn't get here alone. The most recent paper is Dataset GAN from 2021. In this paper, NVIDIA researchers describe the technique used to generate the massive dataset required of car images using a generative adversarial network, aka GAN, used to train GANverse 3D, the neural network from the paper GANverse 3D. These images are semantically segmented down to the pixel level, and dataset GAN is also able to control the camera viewpoints for each image it generates. This allows dataset GAN to generate images with the exact viewpoints required for training GANverse 3D, the neural network capable of reconstructing a 3D model with 2D supervision using DBAR, the differential render in another of NVIDIA's papers. GANverse 3D is also capable of distinguishing the functional parts of the car, for example, the headlights and the wheels, and this is why GANverse 3D can animate the car. This is it, right? I, th I hope you enjoyed this video and now uh, you know how to try Gunverse 3D and you can have a little bit of fun yourself. And uh, yeah, let me know how it goes and uh, I'll see you again soon. Happy coding!